Once again, let's get straight into this video, but I'll just give you a little bit of a warning. I'm just recovering from a cold, so my voice might sound a little bit shitty, so that's why it sounds shittier than normal. <laughs> so anyway, this is day five and it is Blade. And the first thing that came to my mind was Sweeney Todd holding his razors. So that is exactly what I did. And like I've said in a lot of these videos, um, you'll hear me say that you'll hear me say the first thing I thought of, and that's exactly how I do these prompts. I really do go with the first thing that I think of because it's like I get a flash in front of my eyes and I just run with that. And it's usually something that I would enjoy and draw. And yeah, that's how I come up with a lot of things is I get this like, I'll see a word and I'll get like this flash that will just appear um, in my brain and I just draw that from there. So yeah, with this Sweeney Todd one, I just drew him basically looking at like the viewer and he's holding his blade and it's already got uh, pre-existing blood on it. So he's looking at the viewer basically going, well, you're next. I've just killed somebody. They're just, you know, currently getting minced up in a pie and I'm coming for you. So you're next. I used the bright um, orangey red one f uh, ink for this one uh, because I wanted to have the blood sort of really sort of stand out and I wanted it to have that real fresh look about it so that's why I chose the really sort of bright sort of red and once again I fully committed to coloring a fair amount of real estate with the white gel pen I colored in his white shirt and it's not as much as there was in the previous one with the bathtub but there was still enough white in this one <laughs> to uh yeah be using up this uh pen of mine so what i ended up doing is i went down to my local office supply store and i stocked up on these uh sig um what are they called again it's uni ball signo white gel pens because i have a feeling that i'm going to be using a lot of white so yeah that was the decision that I made the other day but anyway I'll leave you with this one I also put a bit of that red in his eyes as well because I really wanted to give him that demon barber from, from Fleet Street look like he is demonic and he's possessed and he's a coming for you so yeah that's what i did and i think it sort of made a good touch to it i also put some of that really diluted um reddish um orangey watered down ink under his eyes because um in the in the movie he has a sort of like really red under his eyes so i yeah that's why i went in that direction to do that as well and just to really give him that really demonic look. So that is my day five blade.
Now day six is rodent and this one I was wanting to draw my hands so that's why you see me cut my hands because I'm going to be including like some cupped hands in this where the rodent is going to be sitting in uh, in some cupped hands now this piece is not my favorite I really sort of um, I really dislike this one <laughs> uh, yeah it's it's not my best work but I uh, I it has some elements in it that I don't mind uh, but yeah anyway I will continue um, so what I did was I didn't want to have to draw the ha my hand again on the other side so I just got some tracing paper and I traced over that first hand that I did and then just flipped it over and reversed it and then drew it next to the other one sort of crisscross a little bit as well and yeah that's how I did that because I I just there's no way in hell I was going to get the symmetry that I really wanted by drawing another hand and I'm like I just didn't want to tackle it I didn't want to have to flip my brain and and have to draw the other hand because I can't use my right hand as a reference because it looks different than the left hand and then I can't draw with my left hand so yeah it's it's it was that's why I made that decision to do the tracing of that existing hand and that's a really good method to do if you want um, some symmetry in the piece even though it still doesn't look that symmet symmetrical it really doesn't but hey not everything is symmetrical in life that's for sure this little uh, this little guy is a mutant rodent and what this person has done has captured him and they're looking at him going oh my god what the hell are you and he's just laying there but having this little you know cheeky look on his face and what he does with his tail because this this little thing is carrying like the uh the black plague basically and he's just gone with his tail straight to the side of the hand and now the human that has picked him up has now been infected with the black plague now that's what I'm displaying with all these black um, warty pussy things all over the hand so yeah that's that's my story for this little guy and the decision that I wish I didn't make with this one was the fact that I decided to color him pink and I got my pink ink out and it just didn't work. It was just foul. And I kind of wish that I'd just sort of left this piece sort of black and white and maybe just added some of the black sparkly ink in it to, you know, have that accent color from the, the ink set in there. But yeah, look, lesson learned. It's not my favorite, but hey, we're, this is in Kyber, we're moving on and hopefully um, it, well, it does get better. <laughs> um, this is like, I have really found myself still in the warming up phase, even after, you know, day five, day six, I was still just like, oh my God, I can't sort of get my feet in the ground and, and, and run <laughs> and just get running. So yeah it, um, it did take me a bit to sort of click in and um, sort of really get a flow going with these pieces so anyway that is my day six rodent and I really do feel as though the white gel pen kind of saved this piece but it was also a little bit too much as well <laughs> and I put the white in his eyes like he is uh, shining and hypnotizing the human that he has got.
So day seven is fancy and I knew for a fact with this prompt, I really wanted to do something really gross, a little like slimy uh, little thing that has wearing this cute little top hat and he's wearing a little bow tie and he's got like a, uh, a little cane and he just thinks he is so fancy. He is just ready to go out in his little get up but in reality, he is this little slug creature that is just so gross, but he thinks he's fancy. <laughs> so this one was quite simple. And once again, not my favorite sort of piece, but yeah, I, I, uh, I did kind of enjoy uh, drawing him, especially putting the cane through his little gross vents at the side of his body and he's just smiling and he's just going i am so dapper i am just a fancy little sluggy creature even doesn't matter that i'm like got a trail of green slime coming out from me um it, it's all good it, it's all good i am fancy as thick so yeah <laughs> this little guy is uh i think he's quite cute but uh yeah he's very 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 gross and uh but he's enjoying himself and he's enjoying being a fancy little gross thing so with this one i used the christmas i call it the christmas green it's like a darker green and uh yeah it's um, a lot sort of tamed down from the other green that's in the set which I have plans on using um, in another illustration so in the in this um, Inktober series so I really wanted to just use this green and uh, yeah really portray his slime that's coming out from underneath him uh, that is here yeah, he's he, everywhere he goes he's just got this trail of grossness behind him so that is my day seven fancy. Day eight is teeth. And this one I got a little bit of an inspiration from this disgusting, um, horrible looking head on Pinterest where this, it's like this really gross man and his teeth are coming, like he's got this massive, um, like rip in the side of his head and these teeth are coming up. I'll have it on my Pinterest um, board anyway, if you wanna check it out. But yeah, I really drew inspiration from that to do this one. So what it is, is this, it's a, this chick and what's happening to her is she's transforming and it's not the first time this has happened. She transforms into this uh, monster and what actually happens to her body and you'll see when I get to uh, doing the head a bit, there is some stitches down the center of her, of her head and there's some down her chest um, to, like, to suggest that this isn't the first time this has happened and every time it happens, it rips her to pieces. So she's got to keep stitching herself up. So this is what's happening. Like she transforms and it rips the rest of her body 
and then when she goes back to being herself she's got to stitch herself back up again and this is what's happening and uh, and uh, I chose for the um, accent color I went with the uh, red again because I wanted to have that blood and she's like as you can see on that one side there's all like these lumps because she's transforming into this monster and then you've got all this blood dripping down from the teeth and then she's got blood coming down from that one eye that is like transforming as you can see it's got like two irises it's like transforming into this beast she is uh, bleeding from the eye and then I've put a bit of um, diluted red ink on her stitches because it's just putting so much stress and it's just tearing them and there's just blood coming out of them so this poor woman <laughs> this poor woman was uh yeah was she was cursed with this demon that just happens to just it just comes out of her and transforms whenever it feels like but it just takes an absolute toll on her body and eventually it will kill her so yeah this one's a bit morbid and it's a bit gross but that's the story behind her at the moment i am staying very strong um with the drawings uh like i have said a million times it's very it's very easy to uh become uh, overwhelmed and burnt out a little bit with um with drawing this amount of prompts but um at at the moment i'm feeling pretty good i'm enjoying myself and uh yeah i've had a few hiccups where i haven't really enjoyed what i've been doing but uh it's you're gonna have bad days and you're gonna have good days especially when you're doing such a huge um like series of prompts in like a lot of days so uh yeah it's it's to be expected nothing's going to be perfect and you just gotta ride out the bad days with the good days and and yeah until it's over so yeah hopefully everyone's um still going great like we're eight days in and uh yeah i'm feeling pretty good hopefully you're feeling pretty good and yeah that's it from me and i will see you guys in the next inktober video bye